To understand why anyone would ever think doing full body workouts every day is a good idea, we need to recognize where the theory of frequency training fits into our overall plan to build muscle. To do this, we have to look at the different stages of progressive overload. It goes beyond continually lifting heavier and heavier weights. There comes a point when we can no longer lift any heavier. Then, our only option is to increase training volume. This is often done by adding another set. To keep our workouts from becoming too long, because of these additional sets, we add another training day. If we've been training whole body workouts three times a week, we might go to four days and switch to an upper lower body split. This allows for more weekly training volume, but it reduces the training frequency of each muscle from three times to two times a week. With volume being a major driver of hypertrophy, does the reduced training frequency matter? To answer this, we must examine how long muscle protein synthesis is elevated in experienced lifters. Muscle protein synthesis is a metabolic process where amino acids from protein are produced to repair and build muscle tissue damaged from exercise. For newer lifters or people just getting back to the gym, muscle protein synthesis remains elevated for longer, typically about 48 hours, but it can last up to 72, and these newer ones will progress without needing a lot of training volume and should leave at least one day in between workouts for recovery. With more experienced lifters, muscle protein synthesis can return to baseline in under 24 hours, which makes the thought of re-stimulating it through another training session appealing. The theory is the sooner we re-stimulate muscle growth after recovery, the more muscle will build. There's a study that supports this hypothesis. It compared training each body part once a week on its own day to training every muscle group daily for five days, every week for eight weeks. The full body group did a different exercise for each muscle group daily. For example, with legs, they did squats on Monday, leg press on Tuesday, split squats Wednesday, hack squats Thursday, and deadlifts Friday. The split training group trained one body part daily, doing all the same exercises, set and rep scheme in one workout. Menno Henselman made a chart graphing the results of this study, and you can see right away the full body group's one rep max for the squat improved substantially over the split group, while the bench press and row improved at approximately the same amount. Regarding muscle growth, we see daily full body workouts produce superior progress in the biceps, triceps, and quad development. Now what I'd like to see is a study using a 5 day upper lower push pull leg split where every body part is trained twice a week and compare that to 5 days of full body workouts. A meta analysis was done on training frequency back in 2016. It found that the current body of evidence indicates the frequencies of training twice a week promote superior hypertrophic outcomes to once a week. Still, there's a lack of research to determine if training a muscle group more than twice a week would bring about even better growth. There's a popular three day a week push pull leg program where you train each movement pattern once a week. Based on the research we just talked about and personal experience, I can say full body workouts three times a week is superior to this. The study I referred to earlier had them training five days straight without a rest day in between. How are they able to recover? The main reason is the volume was lower on each muscle group per workout when it split up over five days, reducing recovery time. If I were to do this in my training, I'd take the weekly volume I'm doing of my full body workouts three times a week and divide it by five. I cycle my volume, but on average I do 15 sets of chest, which works out to three sets a day split over five days, and I divide up my other body parts the same way. It makes sense to do like the study and perform a different exercise each day to vary the stimulus. If you wanted to add some midweek recovery, you could take Wednesday off and make Saturday a training day. Even if your nutrition and sleep are on point, there'll be cumulative fatigue. So if you're training full body workouts five or six days a week, you'd want to take a deload week once every six to eight weeks. Exercise variation is one of the things that helps to make daily training a success. But what if you wanted to do the same exercise every day, like squats? Watch this video next to find out when and if you should squat every day and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.